The vigil is marking the 100th anniversary of the Battle of the Somme. It's marking the courage and commitment of the Scottish soldiers who died in that battle. We are going to encourage and have been encouraging um, the public to come and pay their respects, particularly those whose forebears um, died in the battle and whose names um, are recorded in the Rolls of Honour in the shrine where we're standing now. I think it's a hugely moving occasion because the loss of life was so extensive that we need to mark this with huge respect. My great uncle Robert was um, in the Royal Artillery during the First World War um, and at the Battle of the Somme um, he was attached to one of the Scottish units <coughs> for the actual battle itself and at 7.30 in the morning of the 1st of July he blew the whistle to take his men over the top. Um, in the, he then went forward with the unit. Because of the casualty rate amongst the officers um, and NCOs, he ended up commanding part of the unit and that until he himself was wounded and evacuated. At the service in the morning, I will end the two minute silence at 7.30 by blowing the whistle again. And that will be exactly 100 years to the minute that my great uncle blew to take his men over the top. The Scottish regiments uh, were all um, heavily committed. Um, there were seven battalions of, uh, of Royal Scots actually at the Somme. The Somme was a battle which went on for 141 days. So it wasn't um, a quick breakthrough. Um, the German and British armies were absolutely locked in combat and the German machine guns were absolutely devastating. The Somme was the bloodiest battle in British military history. Um, we suffered the highest rate of casualties in one day that we've ever suffered. Um, it was a lesson to everyone that that was not the way to conduct warfare and it changed the way the British Army operated, it changed the training and it's something that we have learned from and one of the biggest things of course is to remember is that we should never repeat the mistakes of the past.